Hello guys and welcome to this short video on giving my Audi S3 a clean. A um, bit of a different one today, I haven't got my face in the video um, and I am using the GoPro chest harness uh, to give you a bit of a view of exactly me cleaning the car because um, you don't really need to see my face. Uh, I've got a new toy today. Um, Interestingly, this Meguiar's uh, wash mitt here, um, if you can see that one, it's kind of nice. It's a lamb's wool wash mitt. It's got this sort of bug wash, uh, bug remover thing on the back, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, yeah, I got it quickly off Amazon. It was only £12 um, and I needed a new wash mitt today because my one has failed. Uh, been holding out to get this woolly mammoth wash mitt I think it's called or a yeti wash mitt from uh, the um, oh I forget the name of the company that does it I think do uh, do juice I think is the, the company um, but yeah this is a Maguire's wash mitt quite cheap not too sure how great it's going to perform but we'll give it a go as you can see the car is absolutely filthy today um, just get up close here yeah really kind of really filthy i'm um, quite embarrassed and i've let it get this dirty but the sun is shining today it's a lovely day here you can see where i clean my car um not the best surroundings uh because there's a gravel path and everything but yeah a little bit of a clean today gonna give it a quick snow foam um yeah quick snow foam two bucket wash obviously don't do less than the two bucket wash uh and give the wheels a good clean so yeah just just go in just to show everyone that you know um it's not the kind of video where it's a semi-clean car it's a really dirty car and uh yeah right let's get stacking okay so we're gonna just go for a quick run up of what i'm actually using here today um as the car is really dirty we're gonna start off with some of this uh citrus pre-wash um really good stuff from valet pro i like that and i just put it in this sort of spray pump applicator uh obviously not forgetting the wheels up front first with the bilberry uh wheel cleaner um the best i'd say wheel cleaner i've ever used um for the value for money in one of those five liters it's really good just a spray bottle applicator for that one um then we'll go over to the snow foam it's a ph neutral valet pro again really good brand uh, i haven't got a great pressure washer at the moment my pressure washer broke um and i'm having to use this really low powered karcher one so when we go over to the snow foam lance it's not going to be that impressive it's it's pretty lame but yeah thumbs at the moment i can't afford a really good new pressure washer um then use the trusty old auto glim uh shampoo conditioner tell me if you think there's a better shampoo conditioner because for value for money again get that on a free for two at Helfords and it's really good um in my opinion we use the trusty wash mitt with that in the two buckets and you look like they want a bit of a clean over here uh, yeah so that's what we're going to use okay so just got everything ready uh, four buckets yeah, four buckets, two for the wheels. Obviously, you never use the same buckets for your car. And we got the pre-wash. So I'm going to do a quick pre-wash now. Get all the base. So I never go above midway line on the bodywork. Or always keep it below here because it's quite strong. It makes us up quite strong. Um, get down the sills. And the key is not to let this stuff dry on. And to turn the pressure washer on. Yeah, not really worrying too much. Uh, about this because we're going to go snow foam next so we'll do a quick lock and load to the snow foam lance and again guys this is a really cheap pressure washer that i would not advise snow foaming with but yeah it does the job for the moment until i get something better 
Okay, so we've locked and loaded the pH neutral snow foam. Um, again, this lance actually, well, the lance is fine, the pressure of what is not for the power requirement. I'll just shake it up and... see strangely by turning on its side the snow is actually a lot thicker not sure why perhaps you could comment as to why but yeah works better on its side to move that pressure washer do you need a new one So, snow foam is done. Sorry? So, switched back now to the, um, yeah, get ready to pressure wash this off. Um, I tend to kind of leave things, you can see the, it's moving there now. But, yeah, we leave, we leave it 10 minutes five ten minutes or so until I get bored of waiting um, usually I do the wheels first but actually I thought no I'll do the body work today first um, obviously different buckets for that but yeah we'll just sit here and wait that's enough waiting uh, let's hose it off and then we'll get to the wash wait for people to come by so I don't spray them. And one thing I didn't go into one thing I didn't go into earlier was detailing the wheels. Um, I've got another video on that, two bucket uh, wheel method, um, wheel wash, God, I don't know what I'm saying today. Uh, but I will just put on a bit of spray just to lift the dirt before I get onto the full wash of the car. Um, apologies, this whole wash cycle has been a little bit backward. Got so distracted by people walking up to me today and asking me what I was doing, why I had... Uh, yeah, why they had four buckets, etc. Um, so yeah, it's all a little bit backward, but we're getting there. Um, this is, as I said, the Bilberry uh, wheel cleaner. Really great stuff, and it smells absolutely lovely. Uh, so we'll just get a bit of that on and go into the proper wash with the two bucket in a moment after we've given all this a bit of a wash off. Um, yeah. I won't, when I say show you, doing the full two bucket method on the wheels. Um, again, check out the other video in the links for that. If you would like to see, um, wheels aren't in great condition at the moment, a little bit curved, so I'm not 
yeah not overly too fussed about the wheels today i really want to focus on doing the two buckets on the bodywork buckets um and we're ready god these buckets are heavy <laughs> a lot of liters of water in here so this mcguire's mitt um holds more water than i expected actually i'm yeah, quite impressed with that everyone who comments and says oh I'm not being too careful well you know some people would do one swipe then rinse um, I've literally done the whole <laughs> bonnet there one time and rinse we'll go over it again um, personally it's all about the, the value of the car and the, everything in my opinion if this was a Ferrari yes i'd do one swipe i'd rinse another swipe rinse i'd be a lot more careful um this is a three-year-old s3 that has not even had a two-stage machine polish yet um it's actually not in the best condition so of course i want to minimize the scratching but we need to be so realistic uh, about how we we go cleaning it When doing the wheels, I'm not the wheels, the lower parts of the body. So when doing the lower parts of the body, always use a different cloth or a wash mitt if you like. This is an old lambswool wash mitt that sort of had its day. Um, only one I've got currently, but yeah, we do the lower half. Two bucket is finished and you can see I did have some wax on this a couple of weeks ago and it's sort of beading off a bit there. Poor planning on my behalf as I haven't done the wheels yet. Um, again, poor planning on my behalf. If I was doing this properly in the right order I'd have done the wheels first because now this is going to dry on the paint because it's a warm day. So I'm going to really quickly do the wheels and then I'm going to dry the car obviously with another rinse in between. I'm going to try a new tip today that I was reading. It's getting the detailer first and put some detailer, prime the drying towel. Um, usually I just would think, yeah, use a dry drying towel to dry the car. But apparently using a damp drying towel, or one that's been primed at least, is a better way of doing things. So, yeah, let's give this a go. So I'm just going to prime the bonnet. Um, and also... Now I'm going to put the towel just on here and then I'm going to prime the towel as well. And then turn that over. Now, there's a lot of different ways of drying your car with a drying towel. Um, I'm not saying this is the best technique uh, or the safest technique, but for my car, uh, I think this is a fair technique by lightly rubbing the drying towel over the car. Now already, interestingly enough, it seems that detailer 
has really helped with the drying. Um, there's a few smears, but they're disappearing. And then just put, turn it over now. Do one last swipe of the bonnet. And I'm just gonna wait. I think that's actually a lot better way of drying a tire. I never used detailer before. It's left a little bit of a smear here. I'm not sure why. It seems to be disappearing. Let's just do that again. A few smears, but they seem to be going. So I'm gonna leave that now and just carry on with the rest of the car. Again, prime up the car first. And actually, let's just prime the whole car first now. Um, get it primed. Prime the roof. bloody vans so the whole car's pretty much primed now um, besides obviously the windscreen a little bit more priming of the towel yeah it's not so easy to prime the towel but it's primed pretty good So, I think we're pretty much done. Appreciate I haven't detailed the wheels as yet, but yeah, video wasn't about detailing the wheels. I've got another video for that. This was just a really quick two bucket wash. And yeah, not, not, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Don't know what you think. Comment, think if you think I've rushed it, didn't do it very well. Yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> Comment and tell me your personal opinion. Um, that's all the tools. Might just go and do Grandad's car now. Obviously not with the leftover stuff. I'll refresh and refill. Um, but yeah, not a bad, not a bad for probably, I guess, an hour um to get everything set up and once i finish detailing the wheels yeah for sure it'll be an hour by the time i've finished um the interior is not dirty enough to warrant a clean today i'll just brush the mats out so i'd say if you want to wash your car well um you've got the equipment lined up you want a two buckets four buckets even you could do the whole car in one hour i'd say probably even less if i didn't get interrupted so thanks for listening guys and tune in soon